Hey, I'm Jerry Stevenson, Chief Redneck in Charge here at the Redneck Barbecue Lab. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make the same cornbread that we make in the lab at home. Now, cornbread mix we use in the lab is an Atkinson Mill product. Atkinson Mill is located here in Johnson County. They've been around for 150 plus years. They have a very interesting history, and one of the most important things why we chose them to do it is they have an outstanding reputation and a very, very high quality product. The mix that we have here in front of you, it took about three years of collaborations with them and ourselves. We finally came up with a product that we were willing to release to you guys at home to be able to make. This is how I do it. The ordinary mixing bowl, and then in this mixing bowl, I put two and a half cups of our cornbread mix. Loosely packed, doesn't have to be perfect. Um, if anybody does know me at the lab, they understand how I am perfect about weighing stuff out to grams and everything. But with this product, rest assured, we made it several different ways, and this way turned out to be just fine. Now that we have that two and a half cups of cornbread mix, we add into it basically two pats of butter, or you can use margarine. My preference is I like margarine. Why do I like margarine? Margarine cre uh, contains a little bit of oil, and sometimes that oil is essential in keeping cornbread moist if it stays around for more than one to two days. Our product, we don't put any preservatives in, so it's very important to have a little bit of oil in it. Next thing we add is I add one egg that I've gone ahead and beaten and whipped up. Once we've added that egg in, I add eight ounces of water. Once I've added that in, just lightly fold to combine. There's no need to put this into your mixer and whip it around and beat it all to death because the next step that I'm talking to you guys about is one of the ones we do in the lab that we found out to be very important. So once you've got your product looking kind of like this, where you see most of it is uh, together, basically what you have to do is let it sit for about 20 minutes. Why do you let it sit for 20 minutes? It's a chemical reaction that occurs, it's called autolization. Autolization is, it basically means that it allows the wet ingredients to get with the dry ingredients in an undisturbed environment and just kind of mellow out together. So, see you guys in about 20 minutes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our mix that we put together 20 minutes ago has sat. You can start to see some bubbles in here, which kind of is indicative that there's something going on in here, that it's all happy. Um, you can see that it's pretty loose, and that's kind of the way we like it here. Um, this is the way we prefer to do it here at the lab, the method that works best for us. So the first thing I want to do before I put that cornbread mix into this 9-inch cast iron skillet is I want to put some butter in it. Now there's several different things you could put in here. You could use cooking spray, bacon fat, bacon fat. Um, today we're just going to use regular butter. Make sure that you coat it really well. Um, the cornbread will adhere to the pan. If you don't, you need to put something, anything in there. Margarine, butter, um, ham spray, cooking spray, or like I said before, bacon, bacon fat, bacon fat. So once we do that, we pour the batter into the pan. Once I get all the batter out of there, Give the pan, one of the things that I like to do is just give it one of these. Sometimes get things settled. Then it goes into a 400 degree preheated oven for approximately 12 to 17 minutes. Cooking time will vary 
lots of different variables here. We don't know where you're at in terms of elevation in America, nor do we know the humidity that you're at. Cooking is a somewhat imprecise science. So we're going to put it into that oven. Sometime about 12 minutes, I'm going to check it. The way that we check it at, at home and at the lab is we insert a toothpick or a probe. When we can insert that toothpick and remove it and there's no wet batter clinging to it, we know that cornbread's ready to go. So off to the oven. Hey folks, well, like I said, you have to be patient sometimes when you're cooking. Today's cornbread in our skillet took exactly 20 minutes. So it was really about three minutes longer than we thought we should have. But you know what? Like I said, when I put that toothpick in it and pulled it out, no resistance, no batter, anything. The other telltale mark that you could tell is if you look around the edge of the um, pan, you could see where the cornbread was nice and golden, but it had kind of released from the sides. That's one of those telltale things that you can kind of look at in the eye and see it and say, yep, it's probably done. So let's see if uh, all that effort was uh, for waste or for not. I can personally tell you, I've not tasted it, but I can smell it and it smells like the lab's cornbread. Something about a piece of cornbread. I don't know, it takes me back. I grew up on a farm and I'd go to my grandmother's house and stuff and you always want that first piece of cornbread. It's like you would always fight for that certain piece of chicken. And that's one of the things about our cornbread, what it reminds me of. It reminds me of going back to grandma's and getting that first piece of cornbread. So anyway, folks, I hope this video was informative. I hope that it showed you that uh, it's something that you can do at home. Same thing we do at the lab. Like I said, it's the same recipe. It's the same ingredients. It's the same everything, same techniques. And um, I hope you guys enjoy these results. Um, we will be doing more of these videos to show you guys kind of how to on doing some different meats and some different sides and some of the stuff that, well, I just like showing people how to do because it's well, fun to do. Anyway, guys, take care. Be kind to one another. Smile. Pass that stuff around. It's contagious. Love you guys. Man, now my turn. Whew, been waiting on this for a while. Y'all have no idea. I just happened to have, when I was a kid, with molasses. Grandma always had molasses. Black stack molasses and cornbread may be one of the most favorite things in the world. And to me, that right there is perfect southern dessert for when you're done eating your meal. It's all right.